You'd have lots of fun. I do promise to do my best. To me, Cub Scouting, as, as a leader and as a parent, is helping boys discover the different aspects of life and what this world has to offer and what they can do and how they can participate. To do my duty. To God and my country. It's about uh, learning to live in relationship to the larger community, to your country, to the world, to the environment, and to God. To help other people. A child learns how to interact with other children. They learn uh, physical fitness. Uh, they learn uh, citizenship and good morals, which is the which is the basis of, of scouting. It's a way of, uh, of becoming closer with your child. It's a way of communicating with your child. It's, it's a way of, uh, of um, just bringing your family closer together. And to obey the law of the pack. Congratulations. You've just made a life-changing decision by enrolling your son in Cub Scouts, a decision that will prove to be invaluable as your son grows into a caring, responsible young man. Your decision ensures that your son will learn new skills, develop healthy interests, and have fun developing strong friendships. As a scouting parent, you will have the opportunity to connect with your child through your participation as well. Let's take a look at how you and your son can get the most out of scouting. The smallest unit of Cub Scouts is about six to eight boys. We call that a den. Depending on the age of your son, he will be either a tiger cub, a wolf or bear cub scout, or a Weebelow Scout. If your son is a first grader, he will belong to a Tiger Cub Den, and he will use the Tiger Cub Handbook. Each Tiger Cub must have an adult partner. The adult partner can be a parent, a relative, or a friend. It just has to be someone who cares about the boy and is committed to helping him become the best Cub Scout he can be. If your son is a second or third grader, he will join his peers in a wolf or bear Cub Scout den, and he will advance in rank by working with you using the wolf or bear handbook. Weebelows dens are units of fourth and fifth grade boys. They work toward their Weebelows badge using the Weebelows handbook. Once they get their Weebelows badge, they work toward the Arrow of Light Award until they eventually graduate to Boy Scouting. One of the things unique to the uh, Cub Scouting experience, I feel, is the opportunity for outdoor activities from camping uh, to hiking to swimming to uh, archery, BB gun shooting, and all kinds of outdoor activities. They're a lot of fun for the boys and for their parents and adult leaders. These dens together form a pack. Every Cub Scout pack belongs to an organization that is chartered to operate it by the Boy Scouts of America. Your son's den will hold weekly den meetings. During these meetings, Cub Scouts embrace good values, learn new skills, and have lots and lots of fun. If you're in the Tiger Cubs program, you and your son will also get to attend a Go See It each month. This is a field trip that will expose your son to the community, to nature, or science. Here's the outline of a typical den meeting. The leaders will arrive early to set up. Shortly after that, when Cub Scouts begin to arrive, is the gathering period. The gathering period usually includes some type of activity that reflects the theme of the meeting. This keeps the boys engaged while the leaders are taking attendance or taking care of other pre-meeting business. The meeting kicks off with the opening, which is followed by any other business items that need to be addressed, and then the activity time begins. This is usually a group activity that is related to the theme of the meeting. And finally, the closing of the meeting is usually a group activity that officially ends the meeting. Okay, we'll do our best! Cub Scouting is all about creating an awareness of the world around boys in a fun way. Your son will love going on campouts, building projects, participating in community activities, and taking field trips that could inspire, educate, and motivate him. You do all these fun things and you just don't notice that they're, you know, nice for people. You, you think they're just more fun for you, but they're really for other people. They're helping out other people. Your son will learn to aspire to do his personal best, not only for himself, but also for his den. They are taught to do their best. They don't need to be the best. They need to be their best. Your whole family can join in the fun, too. Every month, the dens get together for a pack meeting. 
Each meeting is planned around a theme. Each den performs or stages a skit or demonstrates what they have accomplished in the past month. The meeting is opened and closed with short ceremonies. One thing you'll see is that your commitment to Cub Scouting is just as important as your son's commitment. We know you're probably thinking, I have so much to do already, I'm not sure I can take on another thing. Well, that may be true, but let's talk about why you might want to make your involvement in your son's Cub Scout pack a priority. It's just a, a unique experience that you can spend along with your child, that you can share with other children and other parents together. Let's face it, kids grow up fast. These are some of the most impressionable years of your son's life, and Cub Scouting provides the perfect opportunity to build a relationship with your son. Get to know more about his personality, his talents, and his friends. Consistently attending Cub Scouting activities, or even being a leader, will mean a lot to your son. It's a great way to show him that you care. He may even discover that his mom or dad is cool. If you're a single parent, Cub Scouting is a great way to meet other parents and expose your child to a variety of interests that he might not otherwise experience. The Scouts offer you an opportunity to strengthen your parenting skills, strengthen your connection not only to your family, your children, but also to those other parents in the community who are as concerned about their children as you are. Think about how you can lend your talents and abilities to make your son's Cub Scouting experience as positive as possible. Are you available to help provide transportation? Are you good at woodworking, camping? Can you write fun skits? Are you a great cook? Do you have excellent leadership skills? While we're always looking for great leaders, we also need volunteers who can help the boys with their meetings, projects, and special events. The range of things that your son can learn is as broad as the range of talents in this room. If you are interested in becoming a DEN leader or assisting in any way, please let the leaders of this meeting know. Ask about Fast Start and leader-specific training. These are some great resources that will outline the responsibilities of a DEN leader. I see my role in the pack is providing a solid launch pad and every one of those little Cub Scouts are rockets ready to shoot straight up. They like to help me understand things that I don't understand and help me see what's right to do. These kids have been, uh, they've been just saturated with all the things that they're going to need to make the right decisions in life. I love watching them achieve their goals um, and just watch them uh, change from tiger cubs to wolf to bears to weeblos now, and uh, it's great. And when we say we love family and we love God, uh, we have different ways of doing that, and part of the richness of the program is discovering how we each um, carry out that promise. It lets you know that you have set a foundation in their life for them to grow. Yes, get your child into Scouts as quick as possible. The time your son gets into Cub Scouting, you've really only got another nine or ten years before they're either going to go away to college or go get a job and be out on their own, probably start raising a family of their own. So it kind of made the point that, you know, spend some time with them and appreciate them.